here's my message to the Trump campaign. This is my message from pro-life Americans. Fight for life. It's the right thing to do. It is the bold thing to do. There was a Trump that spoke at the March for Life not too long ago. He's saying that the Democrats are extreme on abortion there, even till post-birth abortion, infanticide. He's saying every they, they cannot speak for themselves. The unborn cannot speak for themselves. And I just want to encourage the Trump campaign to go back to that Trump. People want a fighter. People want someone who's not going to bow to the establishment and bow to the Beltway pollsters and consultants, someone who's not going to waffle and run and hide, someone who's not going to be controlled by the false media narratives. That's what people want right now. That's not what Trump is, for whatever reason, delivering right now. In fact, he's trying to sound like a Democrat on abortion. And the response from the pro-life community right now is crucial. I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging Trump to get out there and fight for life. And I want to encourage the pro-life community right now. We are two months, a little over two months out before the election. Minds are still being made up. Candidates are still shape-shifting in many ways. Positions are being shifted and changed. I urge all pro-lifers to come out right now and say, President Trump, stand for life. President Trump, if you want the pro-life vote, fight for life. That's not called voter suppression, my friends. That's called voter encouragement. That's called encouraging voters to do what their job is, to demand what they need and they want from candidates. You know, the pro-life vote is not owned. Nobody owns the pro-life vote. The pro-life vote is earned. And you don't earn the pro-life vote by throwing it under the bus, by listening to whatever pollsters are lying to you or media narratives are lying and throwing the babies under the bus. You earn the pro-life vote, and I would say the respect even of the middle moderates, and I would even argue the respect of your average Joe by getting up there and saying, I'm going to fight for what I believe in, for what is good and true. I'm going to fight for the lives of children. I'm going to fight for families. I'm going to fight for you. And so what President Trump should say specifically, I believe, is what he's said in the past, I will fight for life. I will fight for babies. They have no one to defend themselves. They have no one to speak for them. I will help speak for them. That he will sign any pro-life legislation that crosses his desk as president, including the pro-life legislation that he used to ask Congress for back in the day. He used to ask Congress to send pro-life legislation to him. So instead of saying he would veto it or Vance saying for him that he'll veto it, he should say he will sign any pro-life law that passes his desk. And he should say that he will fight against the abortion expansion of the Democrats. He will fight against the abortion industry that is hell-bent on killing and taking innocent human life. And he should say that he will use his executive branch to do everything in his power to fight for babies, to fight for children, to fight for the American family, and to make America a more welcoming place to bring human life into the world. That's going to be the winning message that will not just galvanize the pro-life base, but I think earn respect that Trump is a fighter. He's a maverick. He will do what's right. Those are my thoughts. And so pro-life people, people, raise your voices loud and clear to say, we need you to fight for life. We need you to fight for the babies because our job is to be their voice. That is the job of pro-life activists today.